Let's, let's take a look back at Stone Cold Steve Austin's career. <coughs> this man been getting fucking favoritism from the door. He beat Abdullah the Butcher for the tag team titles in 1991. Then in USWA, he won a Southern Heavyweight title from Jeff Jarrett, even though he was probably real hot at that time in 1991. He won a television title in WCW from fucking Bobby Eaton. Dude, everybody, mama helped put Stone Cold over. Lost to Barry Whitham. Okay. He won. He lost his television title to Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. That's good. At least you're going to lose it to somebody with a prominent name, too. Okay, tag titles. Him and Brian Pillman won from Shane Douglas and Ricky Steamboat. Damn, you beat the franchise. Damn, Stone Cold. You don't fucking... Then him and Brian Pillman, they lost the titles to R. Anderson. Good. Put R. Anderson over. His crybaby ass. He'll put somebody else over, though. Okay. United States title. He beat Dustin Rose. Damn, everybody beat Goldust. Is, is it Dustin Rose like Goldust? Or y'all talking about fucking his daddy? That's funny. The Rock debuted and beat Goldust. Damn, Cody Rose. Everybody beat your brother. I think Roman Reigns' first titles was against y'all or some shit. I don't know, bro. Everybody beat the fucking Rhodes, bro. Anyway. WWF tag team titles. Damn, nigga. You and Shawn Michaels? Was a tag team. Y'all beat On Hart and David Boy Smith. Cool. You and Mankind. I remember that. Tag team. Yep. Y'all vacated the titles. You never try to put nobody over. Mm. Intercontinental title. You beat On Hart. Then later you were stripped for it. Good. Fuck you. Shit. I'm glad On Hart fucked you over. Shit. The fuck? Fuck you. Like you said, I read a video. I saw a video where he's talking about he'll sell his soul to get even with On Hart. And then, like, a year later, not even that, probably, on heart uh, was murdered or some shit. Man, fuck y'all, bro. Um, heavyweight title. He beat Shawn motherfucking Michaels in 1998. Then he lost it to Kane. But it really, man, Kane gave up the belt so quick. Shit, it's really like he didn't even put it over. Because then, <laughs> look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Stop, stop, stop. Look at this shit. He lost the title to Kane June 28th, 1998. Guess when he won the title back, y'all? June 29th, nigga. The next day. The next fucking day. What was the point of even losing it then? Bro, don't put nobody over. Kane could have been massively over, but you took his shit right back the next day, bro. The fuck? Then it says he lost the title to Undertaker and Kane. How the fuck you lose one title to two people, bro? Y'all got this shit backwards, unless y'all mean in a triple threat match. But then that means Undertaker won it, because Kane only won. I thought he only won it like once. I think uh, the the WWF, the actual WWE heavyweight title. He well, it won WWE then, but I, and he think he won a world title once. I think Kane did. Okay, WWF World Tag Titles. Him and Undertaker. They lost the titles to Kane and Mankind. Who cares? All right, parent. Heavyweight title. He beat The Rock, of course. Put Undertaker over. I guess that's cool, because Undertaker going to keep putting other people over. So I can fuck with that move. But, um, let's see. So I went to two title reigns. Kane didn't do shit for him. Hold on. First heavyweight title, he took. He beat uh, Shawn Michaels. That's cool. Shawn Michaels, whatever. But it didn't do... And lost it to Kane, and that carryover didn't do shit for Kane because it didn't really help Kane. He took it from the next day. Then you go to the third title reign. Lost it to The Rock. Never, ever lost no belts to The Rock. Not none. Ever. So, nigga, Rock spent majority of his career putting your punk ass over. The WrestleManias, big pay views, the big draws, the big money. And you never really put him over. Even the Intercontinental title, you pretty much handed it to him. You didn't even fucking give him a, like, come on, bro. Look at it. Second title reign, Stone Cold Steve Austin forfeited the title to Rocky Maivia on, De on December 8th. I got bigger and better fish to fry. Nigga, put him over, nigga, damn. Only time you put that man over is when you was near retiring. The Rock, bro, you a nice motherfucker, bro. Ain't no way in hell, bro. That check, my checks better been bigger than Stone Cold's. I don't give a fuck what he was drawing. If every damn time I got to look up, shit, I got to keep putting him the fuck over, bro. The fuck? Nigga don't put me over for shit. Not even for a tag title, bro. Fuck that. Nigga, last time he even lost a title with you was in the fucking 90s, bro. 1997. While you spending the whole 2000s and shit, putting his ass over. And 90s and shit, putting his ass over. Nigga, no. Then let's see. 
He's okay. So the 30th boy title won it from The Rock, lost it to Undertaker. Okay, that's cute. But it's always like you're getting your ones right back because you want it right back from The Undertaker. And you losing the uh, beating Undertaker here and there and him beat you. I don't know how much that really just did for Undertaker. Because most people like other people reigns more than Undertaker's. You'll never hear nobody talk about uh, Undertaker's head boy title reigns, bro. The best title reigns I remember was him was the undisputed title, which didn't last that, that he didn't keep that long. But he was on his big evil shit, I think, or uh, some shit like that. Or the title that he won back when the title was small as hell. That title. Okay, back to this shit. So, look. So, he won the Undertaker, then lost it to Mankind. I guess that's cool because Mankind put the rock over. But shit, still, bro, you supposed to put him over too. Then once again, you run it from the rock. So, let me get this straight. You took the tight off Undertaker twice, but you lost it to Undertaker like once or two or three times. Hold on, let me go double check. Okay. See, right here, I think you lost it to Undertaker, your second heavyweight title reign. And then I think you lost it to him in your third heavyweight title reign. But yet, I mean, in a way, it got a weird trend. I can't really get too mad because indirectly, it's kind of, but it's still kind of weird, bro. You lost it to Mankind. He took it from The Rock. You took it from The Rock. You lost to Kurt Angle, but technically Kurt Angle eventually drops it to The Rock. Then eventually you take it. So you lose the title to Kurt Angle, you win it from Kurt Angle. You lose it to Undertaker, you win it from him. You lose to Undertaker, you win it from him. But when you you lost it to The Rock twice, and you never dropped the belt to The Rock, not once, bro. I don't understand that shit, bro. It's weird as fuck to me, bro. You even fucking dropped the title to Chris Jericho, bro. But you wouldn't put The Rock over. That's fucking crazy to me. I don't give a fuck if The Rock beat Jericho over that and that. I don't care, bro. Why the fuck you didn't put him over? The fuck? That shit corny as hell, bro. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Then you quit wrestling because you didn't want to put Brock Lesnar over, who The Rock had to put over his damn self. Bro, you is a corny motherfucker, bro. I'm serious, bro. Stone Cold, nigga. I'm shocked ain't nobody made a video about Stone Cold being selfish, bro. This nigga is, bro. Yes, I found the article. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Hold on. Continue. The most selfish wrestler of all time. Oh, shit. About time somebody calls him out. Shit. Who is this? Wrestling Smarts. I don't give a fuck who it's from. Shit. About time somebody called him out. Let me see. What's it? Stone Cold clean job of becoming a mega star. This is a cool. His loss to Bret Hart, mankind. I don't care, bro. I mean, it was done in such a way that both men Simon and Simon just knocked each other out. During the match, also dominate, Austin, Austin dominated the most of the match. Austin's job to Angle was explained by the fact that he didn't know it was illegal to tap out with his left hand. Austin defeated Angle two weeks later on Raw. Austin's job to the Rock at WrestleMania 19 was explained by the fact that the Austin's neck and knees were severely injured, and he had to stay up the night before in the hospital getting pain medication. As a result, Austin was fired by Bischoff. Yep, it never really puts nobody over. It always leaves them in a position like an excuse on why he beat you. You can always even go back to fucking the shit with Kane. It's like the same shit to me. Nobody really gets that real rub. Even Kurt Angle being a champion still didn't matter except the shit that he was doing with The Rock and Triple H to me. Stone Cold, that shit was in and out. It was cool, I guess, but, like, I don't know, bro. I don't really feel like the shit that he done for a lot of motherfuckers benefited a lot of motherfuckers to me. That's just me personally, bro. I feel like a lot of that shit just, like he said, he admitted himself he's selfish. But it's the truth, bro. Then he did that longest yard shit, bro. I've been on lost respect for Stone Cold. The fuck? Let's get into this shit, bro. Whoever wrote this, though, y'all got to write this shit better. Shit, the fuck? I see this. To me, that shit Hulk Hogan did when he came back. Uh, putting the rock, Brock. Well, I don't know if he fought Brock. I'm not. Yes, Brock Lesnar fucked Hulk Hogan up. That shit Hulk Hogan did out of his prime. To me, 
put for, he did more putting over in his WWE return to me than Stone Cold did most of his damn career. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. You can hate Hogan, love Hogan, whatever, bro. Nigga, he put Brock Lesnar over, Undertaker over, and it was busting him the fuck up. The Rock over. Bro, I'm not trying to hear that. And I like that little hero, that little Captain America, you whatever fucking shit he did. The NWO shit wasn't even that bad neither. Bro, fuck that, bro. Stone Cold, man, fuck this, bro. Stone Cold overrated, bro. Fuck this. I don't give a fuck who he put over and all that job, too. You selfish motherfucker. You bald head motherfucker who had a better career. Man, nigga, The Rock had a better career than fucking Stone Cold. I don't give a fuck about all that middle finger, middle finger, middle finger bullshit, nigga. The fuck? That shit don't mean shit, bro. Lasting effect on the business. Who was the big box office draw? What type of fucking question is that, bro? Who won most of the high profile matches? Austin. That nigga don't put nobody over, bro. He don't. Shit be corny as shit, bro. 